Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll discuss about Spring Scheduler. So first we'll see what is a scheduler. So scheduler is a mechanism that allows you to execute some task in a specific time frame. Now we'll see where this scheduler will help us. If you are Spring Boot application running in the production and every day we are writing so many logs into log files. So in this case, you want to move all these log files from one location to another location, right? So you want to perform these operations every day once. Create one Spring scheduler job. In the scheduler job, we need to define this process. So this Spring Scheduler will automatically trigger the job and it will complete the process at specified time frame. This is one scenario. Another scenario is, so your application, there is a huge data is coming every day. The data is storing into the database tables. So you want to take backup of those data. So for that one, if you want to copy this data from one tables to another backup tables. So this task also you want to do either daily ones or weekly ones. So instead of doing these operations manually, you can create one scheduler job and define this task inside the scheduler job. Okay. So this scheduler will perform these operations automatically at the specified time frame. Okay. So not only these two operations, there is another operations also it will help you. For example, if you want to send some email to that at specified time frame. So in this case also we can configure the scheduler job. So this job will trigger every day at specific time and it will send emails automatically. Now we'll see how to schedule these tasks using the Spring scheduler. So for that one we need to go to the Spring initializer. So here is my Spring initializer and here I'm giving group name is Comrade Java Codex Artifact name is Spring Boot Scheduler and this is my package name and we add dependencies. So here I'm giving dependencies where another one is Lomba. Only these two dependencies I'm adding in the project. Now I will generate this project and I will import into IntelliJ ID. So I have imported this project into IntelliJ ID and if you see my pom.xml file, I have only two dependencies. One is web, another one is lumba. Okay. So now we'll create Spring Singular. First we create one configuration file. So I am giving class name as scheduling configuration. So in this configuration, we need to use annotation enable scheduling. With this, we are enabling the scheduling in our Spring Boot project. Okay. So this is annotation configuration. So these are the annotations we need to use in the configuration class. Now we will create one class in that class we need to define the tasks okay so there are three types one is for fixed rate another one is for fixed delay final one is con you can use these three types to define our schedule schedule is nothing but when you want to run that particular task so in the first example we will see the fixed rate schedule Fixed rate scheduler. So this is my first scheduler. Okay. So in this fixed rate scheduler, I will create one task. Just you can observe what are the modifiers I am using while creating this task. So I am using public void task. So here I am not 
return any arguments inside the task method you no need to specify the arguments then return type also void only if we are return other than void then it will simply skip those return values okay so now i will add one log file inside this method and i will schedule this tasks to run every 5 seconds for that one we need to use annotation schedule and if you see there is a two types of schedulers now i am using fixed rate schedule fixed rate i am using here i am specifying 5 seconds so every 5 seconds this task should execute so i kept only one lock inside the task okay i want to run this task every 5 seconds now we'll start this application so now if you see application is started you can observe these logs so here we have defined one task that is fixed rate okay so we missed to add annotation component on the top of this class just we can restart this application one more time i'll clear this logs application is restarting now we see fix a rate task so it is executing the task every five seconds okay so this is fixed rate scheduler now we'll see one more scheduler that is fixed delay so for that one we'll create one more scheduler class so now fixed rate already created now we'll see the fixed delay so this is my another scheduler fixed delay scheduler in the class level we need to use annotation component and inside again we'll define one task i'm just copy this task and i mentioned inside fixed delay scheduler now instead of fixed red i will use fixed delay fixed delay is nothing but it is a fixed intervals after completion of previous execution so again we'll restart this application and now we define two processes one is for fixed rate another is for fixed delay so if you observe these logs see fixed rate task is executed and fixed delay also executing so these are the two schedulers and there is a one more type that is the most important one that is called con now we'll use third type of scheduler that is called con okay so for that one we can use con scheduler so in the class level we need to use annotation slf4j and the annotation component now we we'll create one task for that one also so otherwise we can use the same tasks but here we need to use annotation schedule with con so this is my con schedule so this one also i have specified every five seconds okay so if you observe this con expressions so first one will be the seconds this one is the seconds and after that it is a minutes and here is the hours and day of the month every month day of the week so these are all the con expression meanings okay so first one is second second is the zero i have specified and uh, second one is the start two this is means every two minutes if you specify five every five minutes right so i want to run this job every five seconds so that is the reason first one i am using divided by five if you see my code here so this is the five seconds i am using okay 
So here you can specify what are the tasks if you want to, for example, if you want to take any database backups, you can define what task or if you want to move the log files from one place to another place, you can define those tasks here. But you need to specify the time frame, which time frame you want to execute this particular task. Okay. So here I will change this message to con task. Okay. Now we'll observe. So I have now I have three schedulers here. One is fixed daily scheduler. Another one is fixed rate. Another one is con. Okay. Now we'll try to execute this application. So now it should run three tasks at every five seconds. See fixed rate task is started and fixed delay also started and cron also started. So like this we need to specify if you want to specify the con expression at every five seconds. Okay. So if you want to specify every one minute or every two minutes. So in this case you need to add this same condition in the second position. For example, if you are specifying one, it should consider as a one minute. If you are specifying two, it is considered as a two minutes. Okay. Now we can restart this application and we'll see this con expression. It will run on every two minutes. Okay. Second position is the minutes. Third one is the hours. If you want to run every week once, then here we need to change those con expressions. So like this, we need to specify the time frame with this con expressions. Okay. So now whenever we are starting this scheduler, so spring will start with single thread executor only. Okay. So if you want to run concurrent execution, then we need to specify the thread scheduler. So I will show you how to create this thread scheduler configurations. So I'm creating thread scheduler configuration class. And here we can use the configuration. So like this, we need to create the thread scheduler configuration. So this task scheduler pool size is 10. Like if you want to execute the tasks concurrently, then we need to use the thread scheduler. Okay. So in this video, we'll discuss about fixed rate scheduler and fixed delay as well as con expression then task scheduler. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more content.